Hi there, this is Echo from DataRate. Welcome to Data Explained. Today we're going to talk about esports data. During the recent years, the whole industry of esports has undergone a major increase in popularity. There are literally hundreds of millions of people that are watching games and tournaments in the online space. All of the games, the players, and the viewers of the games are creating masses, massive amounts of data that can be used for various use cases. During this video, you will learn what esports data is, how it's being collected, where it's being collected from, and how you can use it in your business. So what is it? Within a singular video game, we're able to pull out information on match results, player performance statistics, as well as in-play events that happen during the matches. In addition to that, we can also gain information about the esports market in terms of viewership patterns and usage statistics. How is all of this information being collected technically? In the esports industry, there are two major sources of raw data, the players themselves, as well as the viewers watching the games. Game-related data, such as player and game statistics, can be downloaded directly from the game service via APIs. Market knowledge on viewership and engagement patterns is usually being acquired through SDKs that are in implemented in the software products the viewers are using. Now, there are some markets, market research companies that are still sending out servers to their customer bases to collect the same information. With all of this data, who uses it? First of all, betting sites. Betting sites use this information in real time and historical formats to better predict the game results of their upcoming and ongoing games. Game producers willing to understand the market demand better can use market insights to create better games and products for their users. Marketing teams are highly interested in the audience of esports. They want to know what the audience wants and how can they deliver that to them. For anyone willing to use esports data in their operations, there are four major topics to take under consideration in terms of data quality. Coverage. Can the data set enable you to understand the games, the genres, and all the geographical locations that you're interested in? Timeliness. How often does the data provider update their database? Can they provide you with a real-time APR that you're looking for? Integrations. Can the data set be integrated directly into your business systems that you're currently using? And how painful does that process look like? Accuracy. You want to be able to trust your data set. In this, I would suggest that you ask for your data provider to give them, for them to give you a sample set that you can use to benchmark, see, and discover whether that data can actually deliver you with results that you're looking for. That was all for this week. We would love to know what you want to learn about next time. Drop us down a comment below and we'll make it happen. This was Echo from DataRate. Ciao! -y.